Hey guys, Angie Spice here to break down Edward, Edwards versus Usman 3 for UFC 286. Um, so I'm doing something different this week. I'm just going to break down this fight. We've had so many great events and pay-per-views. I thought I'd just focus on the main event. Um, I really feel like there's so much to this fight. There's so much to discuss. Um, there's so much to it. Um, there's so many variables. Uh, anything could really happen in this fight and I kind of want to go into a few things that I've written down here uh, So let's get into it. First. I would like to start off with Usman um, Usman was one of my first um, Fighters that I discovered as a MMA fan um, Just you know scrolling down on around on fight pass. Um, I ran into him and I always kind of knew his special um, so when I started watching UFC he was um, I think he had just become champion, and he was due to make his first defense against Colby. Um, and he's always been my favorite because he had to prove himself. Um, it took him a while to get the full respect. He ended up getting there. He um, was sort of... People were calling him a boring fighter, um, but he kind of proved that he could use his hands as well. But that was kind of also thanks... Um, thanks to the opponents that he was matched up with. Um, but he was always my favourite. He, he did prove himself to be pound for pound number one. So last fight, I had uh, Leon winning the first round, quite convincingly. People seem to forget that Leon won the first round, when he t where he took down Usman towards the end of the round and then threatened a submission. A lot of people forget about that. And then I guess the rest of the fight was... Leon just having a bit of a moment where he couldn't pull the trigger, he couldn't do anything. Um, and a lot of fighters that night at Salt Lake City, Utah, they had a lot of problems pulling the trigger or getting that stand on my back because of the altitude. So that could have very well been a legit factor there. Or it could have also been that Leon Edwards was having an adrenaline dump or maybe just a bit of, I don't know, a block, a mental block. Um, so it's hard to know exactly like how much that the altitude was in play there. Um, but Usman obviously won the, the next three rounds. So it was 1-3. Um, and then obviously in the last minute of the fifth round, Leon lands that legendary head kick KO and just completely changes the welterweight division um, and becomes champion. Um, I'm a big fan of Leon Ed Edwards as well, just because I felt like he wasn't getting his title shot like for a long time, a long, long time. It kind of almost felt like he may not ever get there. It felt like um, they were just never going to let him in and he might have lost his shot because a lot of these top fighters, top five, um, they keep getting pushed back like Benil Dayush in the light division, lightweight division. They never get their shot and then sometimes that fucks them up forever. Like They can never at the moment because you're only in your prime for so long and like one little loss in your career can put you on a sort of losing skid and then you never get back up to where you were um so what leon edwards achieved was just incredible um so that was the last fight um we have never seen usman lose a fight in the ufc let alone lose via ko so it's going to be interesting to see how he comes back after that he's been very quiet he has we haven't seen him much at all in the media i've seen little snippets of him with a his hand in a cast a cast whatever you call it and maybe um he's had more issues with his hands um usman is known to have really bad knees he can't for example i don't think he can walk backwards or something or he can't walk up a stair staircase um, he's got a lot of injuries. He's at the end of his prime now. He's 35. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he's affected after this setback. Um, I, I really feel like there's more questions to be answered with Usman. Um, Leon, on the other hand, is in his prime. He seems a lot more confident now that he's achieved his dream. He can wrestle Usman and he took him down. So... It's like he can. He has more ways to win. He can take the fight anywhere he wants. Um, yeah, like I said, he's in his prime. He has he has more tools to win. 
He's younger, hungrier. He's five years younger, I believe. So that can give him a bit of an edge because he's just coming into his prime. Um, the biggest question, yeah, I think there's more to be... Like, I think we're going to get a very confident Leon Edwards. Whereas Usman, how has he been? Like, what's he been doing? What has he been working on? What's he going to bring to this fight? Is he, um, you know, is he a little bit over the hill now? And I mean that with all respect, but... It's been tough. It's a must, it's a tough situation to be. It's one thing losing your belt when you're in your prime, but losing your belt when you're just at the end of your prime, and then trying to get it back from a hungrier, younger fighter with more tools is going to be very difficult. I think so. the The odds say um, they favor Usman still by a fair margin. Uh, Leon Edwards is a plus two hundred. <laughs> Usman's like a minus two forty five. I feel like that's not really an an accurate. Um, yeah, they're not accurate odds. I would, I would definitely have Leon Edwards as like maybe a slight favorite or even like have the even odds. Um, I just think that if anyone was to win this fight, it's more, most likely going to be Leon Edwards because he's just younger and he's got all these just. I think when you're a fighter and you're just over the hill, it's it's tough. It would have been maybe different if he if Usman was still you know thirty two or something, but he's got all these injuries as well. Um, and he's been around a long time. He's been in those wars of Colby. Let's talk about um, Usman's last opponents. Um, so obviously he lost to Leon Edwards. He won a unanimous decision against Colby Covington, so that wasn't very... Remember, that fight with the second fight with Colby was ended up being quite close, and it could have been Colby's fight if he had got off earlier. Colby had a bit of ring rust or stage fright or something for the first two rounds, and then he ended up taking over later, but it was just a little bit too late. So if he had won like one of those earlier rounds, he would have beaten Usman. Um, so yeah, that, that was a bit of a... I mean, that was disappointing for Colby. And then the fight before that, uh, Usman KO'd Masvidal in the second fight. So that was a pretty easy fight for Usman to win. I was very surprised to see them rematch Masvidal after how the first fight went, even though it was late notice. Um, so that's one thing I want to point out, is that towards the, the last few opponents before Leon Edwards have been rematches that maybe shouldn't have happened. Um, there's, that's not good for Usman in a couple of ways. The first one is that he hasn't had a variety of opponents he's fighting. He's been given opponents that don't have maybe the best threat, the biggest threat to Usman. Um, and then he doesn't get to fight the variety. He doesn't get to have new looks. And that probably made him a bit stagnant in his approach. Um, and sometimes if you keep winning, you get overconfident. And Usman was definitely a little bit overconfident. And, uh, you know, the ego gets to your head a bit and it's so difficult anyway to keep defending your belt. I just think that the last few opponents for um, Usman just didn't really give him any favours. It might have kept him um, the champion for longer, but it, it kind of maybe de deteriorated his um, focus, his skills and learning for new opponents. Because Usman, um, sorry, Edwards can win so many other ways like Colby had the wrestling threat that kind of evened out the wrestling for the both of them and they could strike but that was on a much lower level than say what Leon Edwards can show and Edwards can match the wrestling Masvidal was never going to be a threat because Masvidal's he's almost 40 now he's a good great fighter he's Masvidal's great so is Colby but Masvidal you know he's way over the hill now um so it just sucks you know age gets everyone so that's it so i kind of feel like you know, the last few opponents just kind of just the same opponents doesn't help you at all i think it's tough to because as champion you want to keep learning new skills but sometimes if you don't get that threat level then that can make you kind of underestimate people so maybe we will see Usman with a new game plan um, and someone that isn't going to underestimate he could try and wrestle and do all the right things but he might also want to get revenge and have a bit of ego at play so there's just so many questions on the Usman side I still feel like if Leon can match his wrestling and if Leon 
isn't going to um, gas out with the altitude that's going to be tough for Usman to compete with. Um, let's look at Leon's past opponents. So he KO'd Usman in the last fight. He won by unanimous decision against Nate Diaz, which was a weird fight as well, very much like how he beat um, Usman. Nate Diaz nearly got him out at the end of that, and that would have been completely different. Um, Usman will still be champion if Nate Diaz fought him. Um, yeah, so that's weird. Uh, like, he hasn't... Even Leon Edwards hasn't faced the toughest opponents. He was fight. He fought Bilal, but that was a no contest. Uh, that was due to the eye poke, but he was winning that fight fair and square, I thought. I mean, apart from the eye poke. Before Nate Diaz and Bilal, he fought uh, Rafael de Santos, smaller guy, not really a true welterweight. So Leon hasn't had the toughest opponents to go through, but I think that he's... Um, worked on his skills enough and gone through enough um, adversity to make him do his best. Um, so yeah, so I kind of think we've got the situation now where Leon Edwards is more of a new age fighter. He's got more tools to win. He's in his prime. Usman is, um, was great for, you know, in, with the wrestling. He got opponents that didn't really threaten him with the whole, like, complete package of being a mixed martial artist in all areas. I, I guess Gilbert Burns was more of a threat in a way, but Gilbert still a smaller opponent. So if there is any questions to be made for Leon, um, we got to sort of wonder whether or not he, how much the altitude was affecting him, and how much he was mentally still in the fight. Does he sort of lose his focus every now and then? Because that did happen in the Nate Diaz fight as well at the end. You gotta wonder like how um, focused and disciplined he can be for the entire fight, whereas Leon I'm sorry, Usman tends to make a lot less mistakes. Um, he's better at executing a game plan, but he yeah, like I said, he might want to prove a point if he lets his ego get the better of him. And also you gotta ask him, will he be gun shy and not willing to trade with him on the feed after getting KO'd? Um, so it's a matter of how the confidence is affected for Usman. Um, Leon Edwards is probably a bit hungrier though I would think. Um, I think he's probably a bit hungrier, even though Usman probably wants to avenge his win. I wonder like how much he really wants it. And also Usman tends to like Leon a lot. Like he was saying after he got knocked out, he's like, Oh, I like Leon and or oh, was he saying that before? I don't know, but he sometimes if you like someone just because they remind you of you or you understand what they've been through and there's like parallels in their life story and careers sometimes you can um feel too um like you're on the same team and that can kind of affect how you're going to fight them mm. and um also for edwards um he could submit Usman. i think he might try and to try to this time if I think if Usman is going to go in there and try and wrestle him more, that then I reckon Leon Edwards would probably put a bit more focus on submitting him, um, maybe than the, than before. Although I think that was part of his game plan before anyway. Uh, what else is there? Hmm. I think that's about it. Um, yeah, just a shorter one because it's just um, I've got a lot on and there's too many pay per views on at the moment for me to juggle everything. Um, but I have I have Leon Edwards winning, um, probably by submission in the later rounds or um, even a TKO in the later rounds. I just feel like Usman um, has had his day and he's been he's a great fighter. Or he's a great fighter, and um, I think I wouldn't be surprised to see Usman retire after this. Um, he has spoken about retiring sooner than later. Um, so that's about it. Um, enjoy the fight, and I'll do a breakdown afterwards. And thank you for listening. All right, see you around the traps.